God, you are a God of direction, revelation, wisdom, and instruction. I trust you, God, for doing exceedingly and abundantly and above all that I could ever ask, think, or dream. I can dream big dreams. For you have chosen me for such a time as this. Hey, welcome back. This is Jen. So I think the last time that I was here, I was talking about the Esther fast and when you can um, decide, hey, if this is something that I should do. And so for me, uh, I did the Esther fast for three days and it was uh, started on the 27th to the 29th. So it was like Friday to a Sunday. And I'm telling you, it was so, so amazing. I got so much revelation. I got so much of um, my next steps, things that the Lord was trying to tell me to do. I was able to get direction. I was um, fired up in the, in the spirit. God did so much for me and I'm here to share it. So let's go. One of the first things that I realized during the Esther fast. Oh, by the way, I had a um, like a prayer journal throughout the fast, and that was one thing that I thought you know was so instrumental. I could just you know write down everything that the Lord was trying to tell me, and because I went in there expecting God to show up in my in during the fast, I expected God to speak to me, and because. For the fast it's not something that oh like i'm doing it just to get something as far as like let's say material things or things like that my heart posture towards it was i need to hear you god for my life there are so many big changes that are happening and i need to hear your voice and not anyone else's voice i want to hear you and only you um and so he did he answered my prayer he uh, showed up and I'm telling you it was just the, the most amazing thing and so I wrote down just a few things that the Lord told me in my journal and look at this <laughs> it is so many things that I mean pages pages upon pages just revel fresh revelation from heaven and I didn't even realize this but I mean I he was talking to me for several weeks about the Esther fast, right? He was also trying to tell me specific things and dreams. And one of the things that he showed me, he, well, he showed it to me in a dream, but in three ways. Um, but he said to me that he wants me to be confident in the gift that he placed inside of me. And that he has anointed me for such a time as this. He is purifying me first before I walk into this new season, which is um, I'm planning to move to North Carolina. And so that revelation right there, I was like, wow, God, thank you so much for doing that. Um, that I'm able to walk through this purification season with you. And during that process of purification, I didn't realize that many people would leave my life, that I would need to leave my job. God would literally remove a lot of old patterns of thinking of like, let's say, oh, if, if whether um, I feel disqualified or all these different things. I was like, wow, God, thank you so much for revealing those things to me that you you care about those things. You care about how I see myself. And he wants me to have that confidence. Someone told me about godly confidence and I feel so much more confident. <laughs> and even before then, but now it is, it's truly solidifies uh, because solidifies the belief of who I am in Christ because in Christ I am stronger. I am more, I am powerful. I am, I am known. I am loved. I am truly seen. And so that's what this, the fast did for me. And he also said to me that you have rebuked the naysayers that said you were unqualified. <laughs> I remember he was showing me in a dream how someone was telling me, oh, you're not doing good enough with your 
um, your role. He said that, you know, this person was just really bothering me in this dream. But the Lord showed me that in the dream, I rebuked that person for saying those things. And I, and I said, no, I am, I am doing the best that I can and I know what I can do. And so he's telling me that I have rebuked the naysayers and that I'm, that, um, that said that I was unqualified. And he also said, you rebuke the word curses in the spirit <laughs> first, because it happens in the spirit first. When you are praying and fasting, this is a spiritual thing. Now, this is not just something that you're just, you know, leaving food and you're like, ah, you know, no, this is, there's a spiritual realm and you are uh, sometimes combating with the enemy. You're confronting the enemy in certain places and you are coming to a new place with Christ where you're saying, I give up this old self and now I am walking into this newness of who you've called me to be. And that newness, when because you're fasting, your mind is not on, on this, um, your old ways of thinking. Now it's on, yes, Jesus, you are calling me to have a new mindset, a new frame of thinking. Okay, so that's what he told me. And... The last thing he showed me was he said, now I am confirming your unique ability, okay, to do what I have called you to do. You have identified your purpose because you are in divine alignment. My perfect order is activated in your life. And he told me that I'm so proud of you, Jen. I'm so proud. So I was like, yes, Lord, yes. And, uh, so I truly know and understand what God has called me to do. I know what my purpose is. I know that I have called, he has called me to a mother generation and uh, he's called me to help so many women that have, that have identified with trauma and mother wounds. And he has called me to even do beyond that. There is just, it will be beyond that. It's bigger than me, but at the same time, it's something that I'm qualified to do because he qualifies me, not men, not what people are saying, whether I can do it or not, whether I'm successful or not. No, the Lord qualifies me. And he even got me to a place where he said, Jen, this purification process is so that you can understand that there's going to be people that leave you because they cannot handle your anointing. They cannot handle the gift that is in your life. And you're going to get to a place where not many people are going to be able to um, appreciate you at first, or they're not, in, not many people are going to be able to cheer you on and say, Hey, you're doing such a great job with um, you being a minister to people. No, I'm not going to have that all the time. And it's the same maybe for you. You're not always going to have the, all these accolades and all these people cheering you on saying, oh, my goodness, wow, you're doing such a great job with your business. It's not always going to be there. But, you know, the Lord will always be there for you. God will always be there for you. He will always speak to you and say, hey, I have called you to such a time as this to walk in my favor. Because remember, it's not you that's doing it. It's you in collaboration with the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that uh, gives you this gift. It is the Holy Spirit that will help you to birth out this gift and, um, and to walk into your purpose. And, as, and how that happens is, is when you are in perfect sync with heaven, you are walking in divine alignment. You're walking in divine order with God. So... That's what this fast did for me.